This is my uh, drawing or portrait of John Bernthal, who plays Shane Walsh, or did, for the first two seasons of AMC's hit show, The Walking Dead. Let me know what you think, nation. One Piece, Chapter 45, Before the Storm. So, we've gone through five volumes and are starting our sixth one over here. I always like to put it up at the beginning of it to let everybody know that uh, I, in fact, am a collector as well as a reader and reviewer. So, uh, we'll dig right in. Well, hello, brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, here to bring you yet another uh, review on the tantalizing and epic tale of One Piece. Our last chapter left us with um, Sanji... Uh, kind of going ape shit and beating the hell out of everybody. Uh, one of Don Krieg's pirate crew had escaped Iron Fist's ship and um, asked for some food aboard the uh, the, the Baratier, and uh, and was turned down and uh, basically just you know uh, P uh, Patty Cook wiped the floor with him because he didn't have any money to pay for his meal. So. Uh, everything ended up at the end of that chapter and volume with um, Sanji actually feeding uh, this pirate, uh, Don, Don Krieg's pirate, and uh, Luffy kind of appearing and going, Hey, I found you, my cook! <laughs> so, as we know, Luffy is looking for a cook for his crew, and uh, and he definitely thinks that Sanji is the man. And uh, it's also worth noting, I personally, I like Sanji uh, so far anyway as a character. He seems like a, a real nice smartass. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into it. So, I apologize too and thank everyone for correcting me. I made the assumption because the Baratier was near the Grand Line that when they spoke of Don Krieg being the most feared pirate in the area, I had no idea that it was the most feared pirate in East Blue, and I did mention in my review that he's the most feared pirate in the Grand Line, which I have been uh, uh, told several times by uh, comments as well as some private messages that that is not the case. So thank you very much, Nation, for correcting me, as always. Uh, as uh, and then also for correcting me on the pronunciation of the Baratier. So, without uh, further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? This starts out right where it left off with uh, uh, Don Krieg's uh, pirate, his crew member, um, just being thankful. He was on the brink of death, and uh, he had been fed by Sanji. He says, this is the best food I've ever had. Thank you so much. And Luffy is kind of like, hey, you know, that's great. You almost died. You probably would have died if you didn't eat that. Uh, he then goes in a, and Luffy approaches Sanji and says, <clears throat> you know, you're, you're going to be my my cook. Uh, and Sanji says, no thanks. Uh, you know, I have other, I have, I have, and I have my reasons. And Luffy says, well, what's that? And he says, I'm not telling you. He said, but, but what do you mean? You just told me you had, you had your reasons. So I just don't want to be, or I'm not going to be. And uh, Luffy is pretty adamant about how you're going to be my cook. So, uh, so Don Krieg's uh, man is introdu introduces himself as Jin. And, uh, and he says, you know, so you're a pirate, you know, and, uh, and Luffy says, yeah. He talks to him, you know, briefly and says, um, you know, so what, what's your goal? What's your end game, right? And Luffy says, well, you know, to, to, have, to get the One Piece. And uh, he says, oh, Jesus, you know, you don't want to go near the Grand Line. You know, I'm just warning you right now. You don't want to do that. And Luffy says, uh, well, why not? Have you been there before? No, I don't really know much about it, but I know that it's bad. You shouldn't go there. So, <laughs> so he's fearful of it. Luffy kind of says, screw you. I'm going to do what I want anyway. And that's sort of how the conversation goes. Uh, it then goes back into and, and takes us into the kitchen where we have, uh, you know, Patty Cook and, and some of the other uh, some of the other folks, some of the other fighting cooks that are, that are still around. And then, of course, Chef Zeph. And they're talking amongst themselves about uh, about Don Krieg and, hey, you know, Patty wasn't that guy that you, you refused to serve food and kind of just, you know, tossed to the side. Wasn't that one of Don Krieg's men? And he says, yeah, it was. And he says, you know, Don Krieg, you know, he's he's like Don of the, uh, you know, of this armada that has, uh, you know, that has 50 crews. And he's got, you know, a thousand men at his command or 5,000 men at his command, you know, some ridiculous amount. And, uh, you know, basically he could come and wipe the floor with us if if this gets word gets back to him that we didn't serve one of his people, right? And, um, and then Patty Cook says, yeah, well, you know what, well, first of all, we're the fighting cooks and we fought off pirates before. But also, he didn't have any money. How would that make the paying customers feel? So you got to pay because you have money, but this dick doesn't because he doesn't have money? That's not cool, right? So Patty's like, listen, if you don't like it, leave. <laughs> he goes, that's what you told the waiters, and they all left, and that's why we're overworked now. So, 
So, anyways, it goes back to uh, it, you know, goes back to, to outside, and uh, Sanji is you know is talking, and, and of course has turned down Luffy uh, for you know being his cook, and uh, they're seeing off uh, Jin. He's I don't know if they've given him a boat or if he had a boat from when he was originally captured, but he's he go, goes off in a small boat. They're saying their goodbyes, and uh, and you know Chef Zeff says, "Hey, come on, you know Sanji, chore boy, get in here." Because now Luffy, of course, is indebted to him for uh, what we what he presumes is a year. Uh, Luffy has said he'll give a week, but we'll see where they where they meet in the middle and what happens with that. Um, he then goes and, and brings Luffy into the kitchen, and uh, and Sanji, of course, is back doing you know his normal uh, his normal nonsense that he does, and Luffy is just screwing everything up. Uh, he's you know he's trying to wash dishes, but he's breaking half of them. You know, so then they go and they ask him to start cleaning some things up. He tries to clean a walk that is still in use, and you know, and it winds up causing commotion with that. So finally, you know, the chef is just like, you know, you are just completely useless. Can you go out and talk with the customers and take their orders for God's sake? You know, can you can you at least do that, right? <laughs> and sends him on his way out there just to kind of get him out of his hair at this point. When Luffy goes out, uh, he immediately, you know, to take orders from the customers, he immediately kind of gets pissed off because he sees his crewmates, he sees Usopp, he sees Nami, and Zoro all sitting around enjoying some food and drink. And he's thinking, what the hell is with you guys? I'm over here doing chores and you guys are eating up a meal? What the heck? That's not right. And, uh, you know, and they're like, hey, it's we're entitled to have a meal. And, uh, you know, of course, they're kind of poking a little fun at him about, uh, you know, about having to be a chore boy for a year. And Luffy does a real funny thing. He goes and jams his finger up to the second knuckle in his nose and goes, here, eat this, you know, like he's going to flick a booger at him or something, something like that. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so Sanji's out there and, and it appears as if he's starting to hit on, on Nami, right? And, um... Uh, they wind up, you know, a couple of scenes go through, and then for some reason or another, and I don't know why this happened, but Zoro goes and just, he's going to drink something, he just grabs Luffy and just says, here, you drink it, and he just jams it jams it down his throat. I don't really know what the significance of that was. It was just kind of a funny panel, because Luffy was like, what the hell, why'd you do that? And, uh, and then the next page, you know, coming up towards the end of the chapter over here, uh, Chef Zeff basically comes out with his little braided mustache, and he tells Sanji, he says, listen, man, you're, you know, go, go be a pirate, go follow your heart. And Sanji's like, what? Because we know he already turned down Luffy, and nobody really knows why. Um, even the cooks were talking about how you know Sanji and and the, the the chef don't really get along, but he still stays around anyway. He's been here longer than anybody else, so we'll probably find out very soon. But I imagine there's some kind of uh, indebtedness that he feels that he owes him something, and that's why he stays there. I don't know. Maybe it was an oath that he made, but we'll find out. I'm sure soon enough. Uh, the tale ends up with. Uh, showing uh, Jin, Don Krieg's pirate, um, you know, going kind of sailing into to port there or whatever, uh, you know, the, the big ship, and uh, and him kind of coming upon and telling him, you know, and Don Krieg, it, it, we don't see him at the time, but he's you can hear him, you, know, you can see the, the bubble of him talking, and he says, oh, okay, so this uh, so that this cook fed you and, and and saved your life and this and that, and he says, yep. And then he says, "Oh yeah, it was the the, the Baratier, you know." And he says, "Yep." He says, "The Baratier, the you know the floating ocean liner restaurant, you know. I'll take you there." So uh, we're going to get a surprise visit. Whether it's going to be good or bad, I'm betting bad. Uh, it's going to be coming from uh, from Don Creek pretty soon. And um, you know, like I said, he's got uh, you know five thousand men at his command. So <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens in the next one. But uh, leave uh, some comments as you always do down below. Uh, you know, hit the like button if uh, you think I deserve it, and certainly subscribe if you haven't done so already. Take it easy, nation. As always, thank you for watching, brothers and sisters. Be sure to subscribe and take a look at some of my other videos. Thanks. See you next time, nation.